kinds of error messages on Facebook and YouTube right now. I can put out 700 videos, um, but I go to put out a live video here when it really matters and it's not working too well. But this is the live stream for the, 20, the late 2020 KTM, um, I can't even think of what I'm doing. It's, we've got the 2020 KTM 300 XC TPI that we're giving away. We're also giving away the 2019 uh, KTM 250 XC. I just wanna thank everybody for supporting this. It, these giveaways would not be possible without, the, without your support. So I've got my boys here. Uh, Connor, I've got Connor here, I've got Case here. Kaylee, my 14 year old is, I don't know where she is. And She's then Karen, be tending the baby. and then Karen, come around here, just, oh. just in case uh, it actually is live streaming. <laughs> um, you can kind of read through this and see if anyone, hey, you guys, if you guys would do Your me a favor. Your mom just texted me and said they're both working. <laughs> if, you guys, if you guys would do me a favor and just put in the comments on YouTube and mm. on Facebook and tell me if this is working for you, because it's working horribly in front of us. So that would, that would help me out a ton. And then I can kind of see some of the comments down here. It says buffering. People are saying it's buffering on my end so bad. I'm getting a few of those. So YouTube says it's frozen, it's frozen. Yeah, I'm getting lag for days. Okay. So it sounds like this is working pretty horribly, but um, I'm not exactly sure what else I could do. We've got uh, on Facebook, let's see, it's lagging, lagging. Yeah, the video is lagging. Facebook is good. Hmm. Audio is good, but video is glitching. Okay, well, we're just gonna see on YouTube. Guys, tell me if the video, if, if the audio, can you hear me on YouTube? Maybe the video is gonna be horrible, but the audio is gonna be okay. And if that's the case, that would be fine. Yeah, I can hear you, but video goes in and out. That's what people are saying on Facebook. So, all right, well, if the audio is good, that's what we need. Okay, so here's the, here's the way that this is, this is gonna go down. There are two bikes, on, two bikes on the line tonight, and then there are eight $100 gift cards, okay? So I've got the gift cards right here. They are ready to go. I have 10 finalists. Basically, the way this whole thing worked is for every $5 that you spent, it gave you one entry into the sweepstakes. Um, you guys should be pretty, pretty uh, up to date on the rules. The sweepstakes closed two nights ago, and since that time, we've been feverishly going through and figuring out who the 10 finalists are. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty large ende end endeavor to get that done. In fact, this whole thing is just a crazy endeavor. I'm going to be really, really happy after tonight when this thing is over because I have worked overtime. I've worked way too much in the last two months. Um, but here we are and I have the 10 finalists right in front of me. Okay, so first finalist right here is Douglas Jost from Palo Alto, California. So if you guys know these people and they're not watching, if you know who they are, if you're from Palo Alto and you know Douglas R. Joss from Palo Alto, California, you should get them on the, you should make sure that they start watching this or tuning in because you are going into, into uh, the thing here, into the, into the, the bowl. bowl, okay? <laughs> Our next finalist is Alyssa Amaya. She's from Woodburn, Oregon, okay? Alyssa Amaya, which is pretty cool because I don't have a ton of women uh, that watch Dirt Bike Channel. So Ooh, that's pretty cool. Girl power. Girl power. Maybe she was ordering for her, uh, for her friend. So just to recap, if I'm calling out your name, you're winning either $100 or you're winning a dirt bike. 20% of the people that I call out names are going to win dirt bikes and the other 80% the other are going to win the gift cards. So we've got our next finalist is Dave Holes. He's from Corvallis, Montana. Okay. Dave Holes, Corvallis, Montana. Put that up there like that. Maybe you guys can see that. That's what I should be doing. Putting it up tight. Okay. Now we've got James Dillon from Lowell, Indiana. James Dillon from Lowell, Indiana. James, you've won either a dirt bike or $100. Don't know yet. And uh, next one, we have Jarrett Matthews. There you go. Jarrett Matthews. And Jarrett is from Lewisburg, North Carolina. So we've got, we've got winners, we've got finalists and winners from all over the state, or all over the United States. Next one is Randolph Killian. Randolph is from Lathrop, California. 
So Randolph Killian, Lathrop, California, right there. Cool thing is, uh, I think I've got, that was, that was two from California, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Representing Utah, we've got Kevin Murdoch. Kevin Murdoch from Riverton, Utah. There you go. That's just up the road for me. I'm here in Utah in Saratoga Springs. Kevin is from Riverton, so he is just that way, like 20 minutes, okay? Next one, we have Thomas Castleman from Castle Rock, Colorado. Thomas Castleman, Castle Rock, Colorado. Very cool, Thomas. And then we've got um, Antone Nielsen. Maybe it's Antoine, but I don't think, I think it's Antone because it's the way it's spelled. Antone Nielsen, and he's from Rochester Hills, Michigan. Antone Nielsen, Rochester Hills, Michigan. And last but certainly not least, we have Matthew Schroeder from Charlton, New York. Matthew Schroeder from Charlton, New York. Okay, so <clears throat> I put it, I, I don't have the map. I, I, I made a map of this stuff the other, for, well, earlier today. I don't know where it went because in the flurry of trying to get all this stuff working, <laughs> um, it's probably down in my office. But essentially what we have here is we okay. have six of the finalists are from the Western United States and four of the finalists are from the East Coast or Midwest. I guess we got one, we got one Indiana in there, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got, we've got finalists from all over. It's a total random drawing uh, done my, by my accounting firm based off the number of entries that you have. So um, that's, how, that's how that works. Um, what else do we need to say, buddy? Do you have anything else Good to say? Good luck. Good luck to everybody. Again, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming on tonight to the live feed. Um, and maybe I might have to put this up off my, off my wife's phone later because the live feed is just popping in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, so now here's the way, here's how we're gonna do this. The first name that we draw out of here, and I'm just gonna be mixing these in. In fact, I think we need to, we need to fold these have the boys do it. one more time. Let's, hey boys, let's fold these things one more time. So that, just like this, so that they, actually, they can actually be mixed up a little bit better. So we're folding these things into fourths <laughs> rather than just in half. Because I noticed when they, they kind of, they were kind of like sticking together a little bit too much. Fold them one more time, yep. Okay, good. All right, now we've got this all mixed up in here. I am mixing it right now like that. <clears throat> okay, so here's how this works. The very first person out of the, out of the, uh, the bowl here is gonna be our runner up, right? Mm -hmm. The runner up gets to pick, gets the bike that the runner, uh, the grand prize winner doesn't take. So our second name out of here is gonna be our grand prize winner. That's the person that I'm gonna try to get on the phone because that person, I have to get them on the phone and find out which bike they want, okay? After we talk to that person, hopefully they answer the phone, then we'll know what bike our runner-up person is gonna get because they're gonna get the other one. And the other eight names, I will be contacting you later because you just won a $100 gift card, okay? So all of you guys are gonna win something. We just don't know what yet, okay? So I'm pretty nervous. My heart is pounding because we're about, we're about to draw out the names, okay? So I've mixed this up as good as I can right here. Is that good for you, Karen? Oh, yeah. Okay, who's gonna pick out the name, the first name, which is our runner up? Who wants to do it? I'll do Connor it. Connor gonna do it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kevin Murdoch from Riverton, Utah. <laughs> Holy crap. We finally got a Utah winner. Kevin Murdoch, you are the runner up, which means <laughs> you have won a bike. We just don't know exactly what yet. Okay. Okay. Case is going to turn. So I'm going to mix this up again. Pick a good one, Case. And see where we get. Okay, reach up in there. Just pick, just pick one. What you got? Oh my goodness. 
James Dillon from Lowell, Indiana. James Dillon, you are the grand prize winner from Lowell, Indiana. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a long drive. Not, maybe not, he can meet us halfway. May, maybe he can, he can drive. So I'm going to get Lowell on the phone right now. At least I'm going to try Oh my gosh, to. I'm so excited. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Lowell, where are you? Where are you? James Dillon, James Dillon. James, okay, we're going to go call you. Good pick, boys. Good pick. All right, we're going to go with um, speaker. See if we can get him. Of course, he might not answer the phone. I'll give him a few minutes. James, James. Hey, if any of you know James Dillon, tell him, email him, text him, carrier pigeon. Tell him to answer his phone to an 801 Tell him to answer his phone. There's an 801 number trying to call it. Hey James, this is Kyle Brotherson with Dirt Bike Channel. I need you to call me back as soon as humanly possible. As soon as humanly possible. Um, I've got a live feed going right now and I need to talk to you. My number is, actually just call back the number that's on your, <laughs> call, back, call back the number that you see on your phone right now. It's that 801 number. I didn't want to, I don't want to give it because I'm li literally live streaming. Okay. Call me back James. Okay. So there's a few reasons why these giveaways have not been live historically. Number one is it's hard to get everything going. Oh, Number two is people don't always answer the phone. And that? we've seen that right now. So I can't actually, okay. um, I mean, I might, I might actually just try Kevin, um, but, but I need to figure out what bike James wants before we talk to Kevin. Um, so maybe so, just call Kevin and say, hey, you're going to get a KTM. I mean, I can't, I'm going to, I'm going to call him back. I'm going to call one more time. I know this is, it says Michigan city, Indiana. Where's a pen? Will somebody grab me a pen? Just grab that pen right there. Hello, this is James. Hey James, this is Kyle Brotherson. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing okay. What are you, what are you up to tonight? Yeah. Hey, I... No, I, like, like, I am wearing your t-shirt right now. You are? I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. At least I'm attempting to. It's been kind of in and out. Um, so don't say anything that you might regret. Um, <laughs> do you have any reason why you... Or do you have any idea why you think I might be calling you? Well, I, I can tell you what I'm hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the grand prize winner, brother. You yeah you're the you are the num you are the number one winner which means you have to choose you have to make a hard choice now you have to choose between a 2020 KTM 300 or the 2019 KTM 250 have you thought about that um you know it's kind of, I've been looking at 250s um, I kind of like the I'm a, you know I'm 52 I kind of I grew up riding two strokes so I kind of like the little Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. If if I if I had to pick one engine over the other, I think I'd pick the 250. This one's an interesting one because you've got the carburetor. It's the last last carburetor 250, and then on the 2020, it's the EFI. So you're. You, am I hearing that you're leaning towards the uh, 2019 250? They both and they both yeah. have the, they both have the same amount of hours on them. So they both got like right around between 23 and 25 hours on both motors. Oh, that is awesome. So you want you want to do the, the 2019 250, right? I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to go for the... the well, actually, man, I've been watching your channel because the 300, the fuel injection is interesting, too. So I, I'm an engineer, an electrical engineer, so the whole idea of... of and I, I enjoy taking old cars and throwing on technology. Uh, so you know what I mean? There's the other side of it. Uh, it's pretty cool to have... You know, they 
Okay. I know I've been, I literally was looking at one online the other day. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to mark you down for the 2019 250. I've got it down here. So what's going to happen? I'm going to reach out to you later tonight over email and just have you send me some documentation. I've got to have you send me like a winner's affidavit uh, with some information on there. Um, and I need it. I need it notarized just as soon as you can, maybe tomorrow or something like that. Um, so watch your email uh, for some information to come through for me tonight and uh, we'll be in touch then. Okay. Wow, dude. Amazing. Thank and, you. And we'll have to figure it, we'll have to figure it out because I'd like I was hoping to get this bike to you for Christmas where you're in Indiana we may have to ship it um, so we'll, you and I will work on those details offline um, okay but okay uh, congratulations go tell your wife go tell everybody in your family they probably won't believe you um, this this live feed I don't know if the live feed is working on Facebook and YouTube but eventually you, you you'll be able to prove it to them so. That's awesome. I'm wearing the red one. Okay, okay, James. Merry Christmas. We'll be in touch. Cool. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. So we're gonna go. He's he's our grand prize winner, right here. And now we're gonna see if we can get Kevin on the line. All right, so we'll go back to the phone. Where is your number here, Kevin? 801. Eight. No, I shouldn't say that on line, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get Kevin on the line. 2020. <clears throat> Hello, you've reached the voicemail of Kevin Murdoch. Please do the message. Hey, Kevin, this is Kyle Brotherson. I need you to call me right back as soon as you get this. I'm the 801 number that just called your phone. Um, it's pretty important. Okay, see ya. All right, so we know what bike he's going to get. He's getting the 2020 KTM 300. Okay, so... That's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give him just a few minutes and then see if we can get him on the line. Um, so maybe read the this, other number names and tell them they've got the hundred dollar gift card. Oh yeah. So the, uh, the other people that we know of here, so we're just going to, I'm just going to mark off, uh, James is number one and Kevin was number two. So again, just here, here are the people, here are the people who've got gift cards, Douglas Joss from Palo Alto, California. Alyssa Amaya from Woodburn, Oregon, Dave Holes from Corvallis, Montana, Anton Nielsen from Rochester Hills, Michigan, Thomas Castleman from Castle Rock, Colorado, Randolph Killian from Lathrop, California, Jarrett Matthews from Lewisburg, North Carolina, and Matthew Schroeder from Charleston or Charlton, New York. You guys all won eight uh, all won one hundred dollar gift cards right here. It's pretty cool. It says Dirt Bike Channel on them. Um, that was fun. So again, just thank you everybody for competing or for participating in the sweepstakes. It uh, means a lot to the dirt bike community and it means a lot to me. Um, it's one of the ways that I give back obviously to the community, but as you guys know, the reason why I'm able to continue to do these is because it does make money and it helps me to support my family. So I feel like it's a win-win uh, for everybody. Let's see if we can get, um, See if we can get Kevin one more time. We'll just because it went straight to voicemail, so he may just have his phone off. For voicemail, Kevin Murdoch, please leave a message. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. So we went straight to voicemail with Kevin. So I'm gonna try to get Kevin um, again later on. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of how these things go. Most of the time, I can't get a hold of the winner on the first shot. We were just lucky that we got James. Um, so. Depending on what the video looks like on these on these live feeds, I may have to kind of figure that one out, and maybe I, I don't know, because I I had problems all day long with the live feeds. Um, I couldn't make them work, and I I don't know if it's just my internet, my encoding software. I couldn't make anything work live when I really really need it to work. Maybe ask so to comment if anyway. it's working or not. Yeah, leave in the comments if you got what you guys thought of this. Um, if you were able to see anything, I think most people weren't able to see a ton because I certainly wasn't able to see anything. Um, 
how, how it was going. So everything was just frozen for me on, on my side. Anyway, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to go work out the details with James on how, on delivering that bike to him for Christmas and then still trying to get a hold of Kevin Murdoch from Riverton, Utah and let him know that he just won a 2020. So two people won bikes. One was a 2019. That was a grand prize. Um, but it wasn't because of the EFI. I think he just, he just liked the 250 and I can't blame him. The 250 is probably my, my favorite of the two, just a 250. So, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to sign off right here. Thank you everybody. And, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Say Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Come over here, Karen. Oh dear. You can, you, you can, you can come over now. So even though you're filming, so say, hey. say, say, say Merry Christmas. This is my wife, Merry Karen. Merry Christmas. <laughs> she, none of this would be possible without Karen. So oh, heaven. she, she is the best support ever. And, uh, yeah. So all of you guys that appreciate anything on Dirt Bike Channel, it only happens because she lets me do it and she supports me, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll, we'll catch you guys later and Merry Christmas.